Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today I'm gonna show you what to do if your device PCI requires further installation on both Windows 10 and Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to update or reinstall your device drivers. Now to do this right click the Windows button then select device manager from the list of options. And in here in the device manager window make sure to expand the problematic section. In our case we will use display adapters then right click the problematic device and select the update driver option. Now in here you have two options but let's start with search automatically for drivers. So click on this one and Windows will search for any available drivers directly on your computer. Now the other option is to go back and select browse my computer for drivers. In case your drivers are somewhere hidden and Windows cannot find them, make sure to specify the path and then select your drivers. Afterwards you can click on next, then wait until the installation occurs and restart your computer and you can surely check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to reinstall your driver. Basically you have to uninstall it by clicking on the uninstall device option, tick the box next to attempt to remove the driver for this device and then proceed once again by clicking on the uninstall button. This will uninstall the driver and once you restart your computer, Windows will automatically attempt to reinstall the drivers for you. Then you can just check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to use Windows Update. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon, now click on Windows Update on the left pane and then on the right side click on the blue check for updates button. Windows will now scan for the latest updates and if it finds any make sure to download and install these updates because they might include whatever your computer needs to make this error disappear because some errors are tied up to specific versions of Windows and once you update you'll see that the error will just disappear and you can check if the problem still persists. And lastly another useful solution is to simply check for issues. So what you have to do is press the Windows button then simply type security and maintenance and then select it as a control panel result. Now in here click on the both drop down menus of security and maintenance and you can check if there's any problems or any messages with errors that you can solve directly in this window. Because in here you can find out problems related to security and to maintenance. And if you have anything that's going wrong you can do it directly from here. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.